The Bridge of the Americas was built from the very late 80s to 1993, the year it was given to the people of La Paz City. This is really the bridge that citizens of La Paz have been waiting for many years. It is said that the first design of a bridge to connect La Flores and Sopocachi, two very important barriers of La Paz City, appeared in 1913 and it was thought to be something similar to the Bolivar Viaduct in Arequipa. The purpose was economic only, so the project did not succeed. After that, everybody had forgotten already all about the possibility of a bridge until 1948, year in which the idea of having a bridge reappeared due to many important aspects. One of the most important was the accelerated urban expansion experimented since 1933 and the increment of the concrete production. In 1948, a bridge connecting Sopocatch and Miraflores was already necessary. What is more, a German company was supposed to build the bridge that year, but due to financial problems, it was not possible. Three years later, in 1951, the German geologist Erich Haber-Fellner said that the bridge should be built from the end of Pedro Salazar Street in Sopocatch rather than being built from the end of Belisario Salinas Street that was intended in 1948. Eric claimed that the stability of the terrain at the end of Pedro Salazar Street was much better than the terrain at the end of Belisario Salinas Street, and this fact could ensure an improved foundation of the columns, so this suggestion was finally followed. But again, nothing happened until the end of the 60s. After the project, was put off in two opportunities, it reappeared one more time. Having a bridge connecting Miraflores and Sopocatzi had become more and more necessary, mainly due to the fact that the families of the middle and working class found it easier to get their own home since the National Institute of Housing was created in 1956 with a very important investment. This politic made possible the construction of the first multi-family buildings in Sopocatzi and allowed to Mira Flores and the villages become a urban space for single family houses during the 50s and 60s. So by February of 1970, the municipality of La Paz asked the company American Polytechnic and Engineering to make a study. This study concludes that La Paz had 510,000 citizens in 1970 and it would have around 1 million people by 1990. It was also said that the villages had a total of 54,000 people and they would have a population increment of 50% by 1990. Other important point was that according to the study there were around 3,500 vehicles in La Paz 1970, and this number may increment about uh, 79%. Finally, it was very evident that La Paz was going to continue experimenting a demographic explosion, most of all in Sopocachi, Villa Flores, and the new barriers of the East the villages. And the need of a bridge became more present than ever. Nevertheless, the politic and um, instability of that time is not allow the project of a bridge to become true. At least the name of the Bridge of the Americas was chosen that year, in 1970, in commemoration of the integration of Bolivia to the Andean Nations Community in 1969. Fifteen years later, the Supreme Decree 21060 in August 29th of 1985 and the subsequent minor relocation. La Paz had in 1987 a total of uh, 1 million people and one of the areas with the most population increases was the eastern part of the city. Finally, in order to avoid the collapse of the city, the bridge was being built at the very late 80s by the French company Jean Internacional.